Hey everybody, it's Shino. Uh, we're going to do something a little different in this episode. We're going to talk about how I simplify things about switching between versions of Vintage Story. So if you're following my channel, you know I've got the Vintage Story uh, Rusty Gear server and I've got a set of mods that are on there. And then I have a normal, and then I have my uh, modded to the Max 2 series that we're running right now that has 55 different mods running on it. And then I also do the Vintage Story uh, guidebook series where I go and I teach about some of the processes within Vintage Story. And that has no mods in it whatsoever. So how do I swap between those so simply? And I'm going to show you that in this video. So stay tuned. Okay, so here's what we do. We've got, we here's a situation. We want to have a version of Vintage Story running that we can access the normal vanilla game through it and also be able to click and go to a multiplayer server that auto loads up certain mods, right? But then we also want to be able to run Vintage Story, another version of it that has a whole lot of mods in it, okay? So when we look at like my modded to the max series, 55 mods in there. Typically, if you had one installation of Vintage Story, you would have to go and turn off all the mods that you don't want for the vanilla game. And then when you went back into the modded game, you'd have to add them all back on. Now, being on a multiplayer server, it'll do that for you automatically. It'll add the particular mods that the server requires. So what I've done is I've created a very simple way of being able to do that just by creating a separate data file in the game area. Let me show you what I'm talking about. And I'm going to navigate to my D drive. That's where I store my games at. And there's Vintage Story. And you'll see I've got one here marked 118. And what you're going to see is you're going to see three data files. You've got one that's called Vanilla Data. And then you have another one that says M2M2 Data. That one's specifically for my modded to the Max 2 series. So if I click on that, and we go to our mods directory, we can see there's all the mods that we're currently using under modded to the Max 2 series. If I just went just to the data file and I clicked on the mods, you'd see here's the mods that we're using for uh, or the Rusty Gear server. So that's the mods for there. Now, if I go back and I look at the vanilla data, you can see I don't have any mods installed on there. It's a, a truly unique vanilla experience to the game. So how do we create this and be able to use it? That's what we're going to talk about. So first things first, let's go ahead. We're just going to delete this file. We're going to go through the process of creating a new one. And what you should have in your game file area will be just a file called data. That's what you should have if you've done just a plain install of the game. This process I'm getting ready to show you should be the process how it should look using the latest version of Windows. You have an older version of Windows or are using a Mac, your process will be different on the steps, but the same concept should work. You're just gonna have to take some different steps to do it. So here's how that step works. First thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna create a new folder and I'm gonna give it that vanilla data. I'm gonna do it this way. Don't use spaces in your file names. It just makes things a little bit harder. We're gonna call it vanilla data. And that's what we're gonna use on that. Now I'm going to go ahead and open this up and you're gonna see there's absolutely nothing in it. But what I wanna do is I wanna make sure that I copy. I'm gonna go up here to my bar and I'm gonna right click and I'm gonna say copy address as text. So now that we've got it copied, we want to go back all the way back out to the to the main directory for your install and your game where you have the vintage story.exe command on it for the application launch. We're going to right click on that and I'm going to say create shortcut. There you go. And now we're going to rename that shortcut. We're going to call it just vanilla. Vanilla VS. All right, now I'm going to minimize this window. And I'm going to take that shortcut, I'm going to drag it over, and I'm going to drop it here on my desktop. So now that I've got that, I'm going to right click on it, and I'm going to go down to properties. And this is where things are going to get a little different. So in this target area, you'll see that what this is saying is that, hey, 
when you click on this button, uh, you're going to go and you're going to run this command right here. Now, the default directory for Vintage Story, when that game executes, it tells it to go to the default location for all the data, which is that folder there. Well, we don't want it to go to that folder. We want it to go to that folder. So we're going to put a command in here to tell it to go to that location. So what we're going to do is at the end of where it says vintage story.exe, we're going to do a space, and then we're going to do two hyphens, hyphen, hyphen, and then we're going to type in data, and then all one word with a capital P, A T H. So data path or data path, depending on what part of the country you're from, but with a capital P in there. And then we're going to give it the equal sign. And then we're going to paste that address that we had copied to the other directory. So you'll see it's data path equals. And then for my directory, it's D games vintage story 1.18. And then vanilla data is a file it's going to be going to. All right, I'm going to hit apply and I'm going to hit OK. So I want you to take a look and see that right now in data, the main one, you have the data directory. You've got all of these mods. You have all these save files that are all part of it, all loaded in one area. So I am going to minimize that for a second. And I'm going to log in now using the Vanilla VS. Okay, I've now logged in to the game. And what you should be hearing going through right now, if I've done everything correctly, you should be hearing game sounds, which you wouldn't be hearing from my other install. So that tells me that all the settings here are normal. So if I go to single player, you'll see there's nothing there. If I go to Mod Manager, you only have the essentials. You don't have anything else in there, right? So let's go ahead and hit quit on this. We're back out and we're going to reopen our Explorer. And again, remember, we went into a new save directory. So we're going to pop back out. We're going to click on Vanilla Data. And you'll see now all those folders have been populated. They still don't have anything in them, but that's how you know it worked. So now we have a whole nother shortcut key that we can click on that will launch a version of the game that has no mods installed on it. I've got a shortcut key I can click on that will take me to my normal gameplay, but also allow me to get to the Rusty Gear server. And then I have a third shortcut that will take me to the data files that stores all of my modded to the max two series files on it. So without having to go through and click and turn on mods for each version that I want to play and turn them off, I can just do it now with one click of a button. Yes, each time you log in, you're going to have to go in and re-log in using your password. So when you swap from one version to another, it no longer remembers your password, so you'll have to go in and retype in your password. But that's a lot quicker and a lot easier than doing it the other way. So that's how I do it. Uh, hopefully that was helpful for you. Uh, keep following me for more tips and tricks on how to play Vintage Story and get the most out of the game. We'll catch you in the next video. Take care.